So let's say you're thinking about playing volleyball, but you don't know exactly how. You don't even know where to start. That's okay. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. I've chronicled a lot of events about volleyball on my channel and I have so much more coming in store for you guys. We've talked about things like equipment, preparation techniques, how to dance while playing volleyball. Even when you're freaking out and you don't know exactly what to do, my videos are here for you for that. So today let's talk about Volleyball Rules Explained. So this video is going to be a brief, basic overview of the rules of volleyball so that way you are a little bit more comfortable knowing how to play the game. But first, let's talk about the court. So you can't even get on the court until you know about the court. A volleyball court in the USA is nine meters by 18 meters. And the lines on the court reflect the end line, serving area, 10 foot line, and sometimes it's called the three meter line. But what's also interesting is, did you know a women's height net and a men's height net are different heights? A women's height net is about 7 feet and 4 inches, while a men's height net is 7 feet and 11 inches. If you watch some of my live streams or volleyball vlogs, most of the time I play on a men's height net. That's cool, right? There are antennas on each side of the net, and that tells you the playable length across the net. So if you hit outside the antenna, it is out of bounds. So let's go on to the players on the court. There are six players on the court at the same time, but that doesn't mean that's all the people that are on the team. There are just six players on the court at the same time. Three are in the front row, and three are in the back row. Front row players are traditionally the hard hitters and hitters and offensive, while the back row is very defensive. So examples of front row positions are the outside hitter, middle blocker, or the opposite. And examples of back row positions are the left back, libero, and right back. And we'll talk about more about those positions in another video. The setter is more of a fluid position because she moves often. Players do rotate and they rotate clockwise. However, there are rotations, such as a 5-1 and a 6-2 and a 4-2. And we're gonna talk about that too. Okay, Coach Coco, I know there are six players, but how do you score a point? Well, points are one point each, so it's not like basketball where you can get a two-pointer or a three-pointer, it's just one point each. And games are also called sets. So each set is to 25. Points are served by winning a rally. And a rally sometimes is called a volley. Here's a tip to remember. You must win by two. That means if the score is 24 to 24, the team to win has to win by two. So the end score has to be 26, 24, or higher than that. Okay, so I know what the points are, but I don't know how to score the points. Well, the order of operations is bump, set, spike. And it doesn't always happen like that. But that's a rule of thumb. Bump, set, spike. Hitting the ball inside the parameters of the opposing team's court scores a point. One of the things I see often is sometimes the ball lands really close to the line. If it hits the line, it's in. A player cannot touch the ball twice in a row, but a block does not count as a hit. So if you're going up to block the ball and you touch it and then you touch it again, that is playable. You can use any body part to contact the ball, even if it bounces off your foot. I highly advise not trying to bounce it off your foot, but if it's up, it's up. But you cannot catch, carry, or throw the ball. I really hope you guys enjoyed this basic volleyball rules explanation so that you can better understand how to play the game we love so very much. And my channel is all about volleyball. We have so many great things coming. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody you think would like volleyball. See you guys next time.